And here is the next episode. Right, so now all we have to do now is go to Outset Island and it's a really freaking long way away. And it seems to be a race to get there before the pirates, but like I said, the night is endless, so you've got all the time in the world to get there. Alright, we have a letter, but for the time being, I'm ignoring it. Only for now. Well done, our preparations are complete. If what the ghost says is true, the pirates won't be leaving until morning. How did you know Tetra was saying that? You must meet with Chaboon and get the pearl from him before they arrive. Let us delay no longer, Link. Oh. Alright, a good idea would be to... Oh, damn it, I messed up. A good plan would be to travel south. So, make the wind blow south. And onward. Ring of light, but that's pointless. My rupees are all maxed out. What was that? The screen flickered. That will not show up on the recording, though. No. So there's a small island south of Windfall. And there, there's actually something pretty... Something that is a risk-reward thing. We'll get to that in a minute. You can already see it now. There's like a tornado over there. A cyclone. Oh, I did it without targeting. Awesome. This is only ever worked while targeting the fish for me. Northern Triangle Isle. Let me tell you something, small fry. The school on that Windfall Island has one gorgeous teacher. Are you coming on to her? But the thing is, the gang of four little hoodlums is always causing trouble for her. Those little delinquents like to cause all sorts of trouble. They go climbing trees and hiding behind buildings instead of going to school. What a bunch of savages. Yeah, they're off playing hooky. Or as they say in England, they're wagging it. Somebody's got to scold those scoundrels and set them straight for the sake of that poor teacher. You hear me, Fry? Yeah, I did. Okay, so over there is a cyclone. Do you remember Zephros, the god of winds? He has a brother named Cyclos who creates cyclones. If we find one of these and approach it, this will happen. We get stuck. Foolish creature who does not fear the gods. To the end of the seas with you. Let the winds of Cyclos' wrath blow you away. What he's going to do is he's going to suck you in and he's going to send you off to a random island on the sea. Now this could be useful for this part of the game because sometimes it can actually move you closer to outset. And sometimes it can move you further away. So this is a risk but it might be worth taking. And I want to take his picture because he's a time-limited character who's who we can get for our gallery. And once you get sucked up, once you get pulled in, you can't escape. Oh, a ch ooh, chocolate. I want the chocolate. Link, are you alright? Well, I'm alive, so what do you think? It would seem that the Wind God Cyclos bears some ill will towards humans. As you go forward, it would be wise to try not to get sucked up by any cyclones you see upon the sea. Ah, uh, but if only we could find a way to harness the power of those cyclones, it might be possible to travel across the ocean instantaneously. You do not 
you do not yet have an item that can pierce distant op targets. If you do, you might be able to attain such a power. Keep that in mind. Okay, so let's find out where we are. Um, that was not useful at all. Oh, sight close, you booger. That was seriously no help. Bah, fine. Mmm, chocolate. Okay, then. I have a plan. We'll just keep going southwest. I mean, he can actually send you straight to Outset Island if you're very lucky. At this point, the furthest he can take you is um, to uh, Dragon Roost. So yeah, I tried and I failed. And right now, this square we're on is actually empty. There's nothing here. So he won't be a fish man. Ignore that. Mm. 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 A twirl. Oh yeah. Oh dear, I bumped the mic. Okay. Better finish this chocolate off. Okay, we're approaching an island, so we'll probably want to get this drawn on our chart and bloody hell. You might not be able to see them, but there's there's some flying enemies over there and I hate them! They're sea hats. Sea hats are so annoying. They're basically pea hats you find at sea and they're gigantic! And it's convenient to see Beetle here. Who actually starts selling bombs. You know, I don't really want anything. So if we run out of bombs, Beetle will sell them at some places. Alright. I should have told Beetle that his ancestor in Skyward Sword was an a-hole. Sea hat! Oh. The funny thing is, sea hats don't bother you when you're in the sea or on land. It's only when you're sailing on the boat that they'll start to torment you. You can one hit kill them with bombs, but it takes two hits to boomerang. Alright, so this is actually the third and final Triangle Isle. Southern Triangle Island. And this is actually the inner triangle in that Triforce mark we saw before. A famed photographer lives to the north of here on Windfall Island. He's apparently real wise and talented in the ways of photography. Yeah, he sneaks up on people. He's even said to have legendary pictographs that he treasures above all other things. He keeps them hidden away in a secret safe, or so they say. By the way, Fry, what exactly is a pictograph anyway? It's Wind Waker's... No, it's Zelda slang for photograph. Right, so there's only one more island between us and Wind... Outset! Not Windfall! How can I get these two completely different islands mixed up? Honestly, it makes me look like a noob. Where well, I said noob then, that was kind of funny. And I'm hungry. I could go for a drink now, but no. Not now. Just keep sailing, just keep sailing, just keep sailing, sailing, sailing. What do we do? We sail. Zit. I never pressed the Z button. I was pressing R. I guess my index finger slipped. 
Oh, bloody hell, another cyclone. Away. Because if that thing gets me, I am I'm screwed. Because it's bound to just take me further away from out set. I said it right for once. Just stay well away. The fishman splashes over there. What was that? Oh, oh not the rock. No, this island here, it has five circles of light in a row here. But I can't, I don't want to get those since it's always going to be rupees. This island also has a puzzle, but we can't do anything about it yet. And a coal rock, which we also can't do anything about yet. There's a lot of ring of light around here. A lot of ring of light. Rings of light. I feel a burp coming on. Yeah. Why have I been doing that a lot lately? I've only eaten once today. And it's the afternoon. Speaking of which, we actually had some snow earlier today. It's gone now. It melted because it was too wet. Tell me, Smallfire, have you ever been caught in one of them cyclones? The wind deity, cyclones, use those cyclones, yeah. Yeah, that was what they explained to us, but thanks for telling us anyway. So now all that's left is outset, which is over there. So, let's just sail. Just keep sailing, just keep sailing, just keep sailing, sailing, sailing. While spinning the camera around to make my viewers dizzy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh. All right, so now we're within range of outset. Kind of. Huh. Whatever. Now we are. If you can hear that sound, that's me tapping on my belt. Have you noticed, Link? Morning has not broken since we arrived at Great Fish Isle. The land that was so ravaged by monsters. It is as if time itself is frozen. Perhaps this is the curse that Velu spoke of? Whatever the reason, if, the, if this night does not end, then we need not worry about the pirates overtaking us. In fact, it might not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown and family again after such a long time away. We can speak with Jaboon after you do. Ah, home sweet home. Now, now what I highly recommend you do before you do anything else is go back to the forest and oh, Outside Island's not quite the same though. The place is infested by choo choos at night time now. So just return to the forest where we are ow, originally found Tetra. And there's something very, very important to pick up there. Just make your way up the mountain again. Oh god, mini blends, no! Oh, and we got this peculiar guy. Old man Ho Ho! He has a red eye. Ho! Extreme constipation. He'll make a great extra on Dragon Ball Z. So close, if only I could fly to the top of that hill, if only beneath that rockhead, the tri- Oh, I nearly spoke loud without thinking. It's a secret. Yes, quite a secret. It's a secret to everybody. You'll actually see this guy quite a lot for the game. He actually, 
he's actually staring at pretty interesting stuff. Alright, so the bridge to the forest is now completely destroyed. You have to fly west if you want to get inside. Can I make it? Ah, uh, okay, whatever, I'll just, I'll just try again. Okay, try again, stand on the rock, and fly. Oh yeah. I need magic, thanks for the magic. So, back into the forest, the woods, whatever. Uh, get our bombs ready. Uh, don't be stuck. What's that? Oh, it's a mofula. I'm gonna make you reproduce. <laughs> you can't touch this. Damn it. Well, you still can't touch this. You know what? Screw that. I'm escaping. Alright, so, with our new bombs, we can blow up this boulder. Uh, oh, how convenient, a heart in the cutscene. Oh, and more bombs. So I'll drop down here and it's a fairy fountain. And I have to say, this is my favourite fe- this is my favourite remix of the great fairies fountain theme. In the whole series. Also have the less creepy looking fairies. Allow me to aid you in your quest. They don't have weird, po they don't have extreme pointers. And they're not naked like the Twilight Princess great fairies are. You can now carry up to 1000 rupees. A big help. The fairies in this fountain shall ease your weariness when you grow fractured from your battles. Come here to be refreshed. So yeah, she leaves behind a bunch of fairies that will always be here. Now we'll need one. You call a fairy in your bottle. Look at the poor guy, he looks so sad. It will restore up to 10 hearts. So yeah, there is another wallet upgrade in the game, and you can actually get it before this one. But not right now. Oh, moblins and their and their their lucky charms. Oh, it's <laughs> and then that's when they decide to notice me, and that's when they decide to kill the moths. I'm just gonna stand here and let them kill each other. <laughs> this is always the funniest thing to see. Enemies hit each other. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> keep at it. Okay, 